Hey, peace. Welcome back. Chinese spy balloon against album reviews. Yo, shouts out to all Chinese spy balloons. Yeah, yeah. Every single one of them. Now, they just had an old boy come out and he was like, actually, we didn't find any evidence of any monitoring devices in this spy course, balloon. Of course they did. Obviously, it was just a weather balloon and was blown out of proportion so we can go talk shit about China. Per I, pl usual. I play Genshin Impact. I know word. President Xi is watching me. It's all good. Word, word. Hey, but yeah, welcome back. Secret House Against. Uh, it's me and Jet here today, and we're going to be talking about the new collaborative album from MC artist Eli of The Living Legends and producer extraordinaire Allo8. Before we get into it, we'd like to remind you guys to check out the No Name Book Club, who uh, we are proud supporters of here at the channel, as well as Caltrops Press, some of the best writing you can find possibly ever about hip hop and hip hop culture, um, along with some deep listening of our guy, The Sonic Cloth. Uh, think about hitting the like and subscribe on our channel as well. I'm pretty sure that doesn't cost you guys anything other than uh, a little bit of effort and maybe, you know, a thumbprint. But um, yeah, we're here. No, it is. Kind of like non-album review, album reviews. And uh, yeah, so this song is, uh, excuse me, this album is called Halo Boy. It is 11 songs, 34 minutes. It released at the beginning of this month on September 9th. And uh, I think it's the 15th solo album from our guy, Eli. Probably, and yeah. uh, and he's he must have like towards maybe 25 full length projects, including his collaborative um, albums with other people, Melancholy Gypsies, as well as uh, Log Cabin Project. And um, yeah you know grouch and eli so uh shout out he's been putting it down forever and uh how, how do you know of eli uh living legends that's right of course um yeah no i mean i've i've listened to eli solo stuff before it's pretty my first deep listen of an eli okay. solo record uh alouette i'm not so familiar with okay uh like I've, I've definitely seen the name around but not not someone i'm and i know he's collaborated with eli before as well yeah, but, they have some songs, I, I believe. Yeah. But yeah, not uh, not familiar with Alloy. Man, I've been rocking with Eli since probably like 98, 97. Um, uh, Log Cabin Project type of shit. Um, a lot of the LA Underground type of cats. Um, Radio Inactive is a homie. Uh, from back in the day i was an insurance agent for a while and um yeah I, i'm a i'm a huge fan and supporter of eli i don't necessarily get into all of his projects um but i definitely did want to come out here and show some love for this one as far as Allo 8 goes i've known of al i've never met him i've never spoken to him um or communicated with him same with eli i think i met eli once but um Allo 8 i remember him from like old hawaii compilation um joints like with um like Staple Mouth is on this album, but Farewell to Archetypes, I want to say. Um, so maybe that's like 2003, 2004. Maybe Allo 8 was on Soul Seek back in the day, like the underground hip hop yeah. or Anticon rooms. Maybe I've typed with him, but I have been a fan of his work for a long time. Um, as people know, like I'm a huge Staple Mouth fan and have been since 2000 at least. And uh, yeah, I was, I was happy to see them kind of come together. It was an unlikely... Well, it felt like kind of an unlikely collaboration, but it also felt like one that should have happened since they both have been around that independent underground uh, ecosystem uh, since since back in the day. But yeah, um, let's get into the album then. Uh, can I get my old spade on for a second? Yeah, bust it. Okay, listen to me, Eli. Eli, I know you've been in hip hop for 30 years and you know more about the genre than I do, but... Let me tell you something. I have never hated the first two minutes of an album I loved in my entire life. Uh, oh, so, that sounds about right. All right yeah. Basically, like, that title track, mm. hated it. Really, Word. really didn't like the title track. Word. I thought that hook was, like, atrocious. I really, okay. really did not like yeah. the hook. I found it annoying. It's been stuck in my skull all day. It got stuck in my head, too. It does <laughs> nothing for me. Yeah. And when I heard it, I was like, oh, geez, Mega, like, really? We're going to we're gonna do this? Thought the next half an hour was pretty incredible, actually. Yeah. Uh, really, really liked this album. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever disliked an introduction to an album I actually kind of loved. I, I have here in my notes that, like, my least favorite track is the opener. Yeah. And it's mostly because I don't really care for the Halo Boy line. Yes. In, in general, the theme of the album is dope, but the Halo Boy line is kind of... It, it don't really work for me like that and i like you know i'm not going to turn into a halo boy eli's not going to groom me they, i'm not going to be groomed. Me halo boy because i fight yeah. the covenant and yeah. and i have a laser gun yeah 
I mean, it, it's a good song in the sense that it sets up the premise of the album. You kind of know what it's about. Sure, like sure. I, I understand been, its yeah. place in the record, yeah. and I think sequencing wise, it makes sense to have it sure. at the beginning because it's it's the album's thesis statement. Yeah. Um, I just really, really did not like that hook. I feel you. I feel uh, you. And it was weird because yeah. I thought, oh, well, you know, maybe it's just one of these things where he can't really sing. But I actually quite like the singing on the rest of the album. I mean, yeah, he's got a. Yeah, styling. He's, he's got yeah, well. styling. Goes I on think, voice like yeah. I think I I don't know. The beat is fine. The the premise, the lyrics are fine. But that uh, that song, when I you know before I listened to the album, I asked you if you wanted to do it. We agreed to do it, and then it was just like, all right, well, I guess this is what I'm into. You yeah. know, like if it's if it's another thirty minutes of this, then maybe we're not going to have the most positive things to say about the album. But um, I I actually really really enjoy the rest of the album. I think that. Um, I think overall, you know, I've been I've been a fan of Eli for such a long time. I think that what he stands for and what he's done in independent hip hop music, he's been doing it for more than half of my life. And um, he he's he's a tremendous styler. And I think that he's a person that deserves to be kind of highlighted and championed is one of the people who have been holding it down for like holding it down for hip hop culture. I've never heard any fucking funny business shit about him. I've never heard about him being asshole to a fan. And I, I, I love him for that reason. I am also a big fan of his kind of double time sing song styling. He yeah. has a there's a uniqueness about Eli's approach that he's been doing since even back in those log cabin days, that that really styling thing. And what I like about his double time is that he enunciates his words really well. So very you can, clear, even though you can, he's rapping at a thousand yeah. miles per hour. And and on top of that, like another thing that stood out to me as like one of the great um, parts of this album. Besides, I'll get more into uh, Alloway's production because I think that that is also just incredible. But yeah. the the number of features that are on this album um, from kind of different parts of this like the entire spectrum of hip-hop yeah. and and the way that the variety of production approaches styles and the overall experience it really kind of culture cultivates a vibe unlike anything you'll hear almost anything er, anywhere else mm. from from any artist within that same kind of biosphere he, and and he's just a historically dope styler you know um of all the legends um you know uh, which I, I i tend to love most of them you know i'm a big fan of like basic mc but you know merce grouch scarab eli has kind of been the one that i've been rocking with the most throughout mm. the last several years i haven't i haven't disliked merce or or disliked grouch or disliked anybody's music but eli is still kind of making this really artsy um abstract avant-garde approach that Absolutely, i feel like yeah. some of the other guys have leaned a little bit away from and and this album just works really well i it, think it he also really well. like elevates the you know the features on here are all excellent and i think yeah. the the number of the features on here yeah. elevates the work you mm -hmm. know hearing mm -hmm. all these mcs come on in and and you know going bar for bar with eli which is a very tall challenge yeah um but i think there's like a, a bit of mutual elevation here you know they're yeah. both like pushing each other to do better yeah um you know, I, all the features on here are pretty excellent. Like, I agree. Across the board. I agree. Uh, you know, when Micah 9 came on, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, you know, because yeah. I, I, I yeah. try not to look at the track list before I listen Power, through because yeah. I want to, you know, be taken by surprise. Um, but when he goes into those double time flows and he's yeah. just flying kind through these verses. Mumbly sing the mumbly, song yeah, style. Like, like ah, I don't know I'm what you're saying all the way, but that shit is but like. It's so fucking yeah. dope. And the production Fuck just like carries it so yeah. well. There's yeah. so much depth and... Yeah. Um, you know layering yeah. to the composition it feels very kind of structured and ordered in like a really like yeah. considered and careful way um yeah i and on top of that i think maybe it's just because the first track left a bad taste in my mouth but the second half of the album is yeah. Really, really strong. Really good. Like, um, uh, if I can go, I think that you know, I don't know if I've heard Micah and Eli together on a track before, mm. and that's really dope. And the same thing for you know, he has a, he has a, another West Coast project, Blodian, Good Lifer, um, a pterodactyl styling on the second track called Style. Yeah. And you know, shout out to Project Blode. We we got some Blodians on here. This is you know the West Coast tradition, the great stylers, and they all kind of go different even king los shout out to king los who's super hard, and, fucking and, hard and, on that yeah it, it's it's like um if i can go on more about some of the features like he's got boldy james on here which was a strange thing to think about because the lane that boldy james is uh boldy jane boldy james has kind of helped cultivate is so radically 
different or distant to me than the type of sound that we usually get from an Eli or a Micah Nine or you know it's it's a whole like almost like a subgenre of hip hop that he exists in and it it goes hard and we've also got other cats on here who are more towards your conventional rap styles um or even like high level bar work with mickey fax and mad squabbles i don't really know um uh mad squabbles but i think he did a a not really familiar with either of those features i really really like mickey fax's verse on there mickey fax is incredible yeah and and that's probably like maybe the most conventional type of hip hop. Oh yeah, on the it's, album, it's very but... much like a hip hop track, but it works yeah. really really well. And I, I think you know Baldy James was a great choice in that yeah, respect yeah. because this album, even though it's quite cohesive and and does kind of generally thematically follow one track, mm-hmm. there's a very very broad, mm-hmm. you know, it really does span both ends of the underground you know all, Indeed, all yeah. sides of the underground yeah, yeah. you know you've got your coke rap on there but you've also got like your more avant-garde and and your more kind oh, yeah. of uh sing song sing song soulful kind, kind of, of stuff a, you know the chesky is also on here shout Chesky's out to chesky there, yeah. fake four and chesky brings his kind of um you know sing songy indie folk hip-hop thing that he's leaned in more um it leaned more into in in the last you know decade and a half or whatever and you know scarabs on there and i i, I might be wrong but i think that scarab is the longest collaborating uh mc with eli they went to they went to school together i think okay. hamilton high school which where a lot of cats went to in los angeles and it's good to see them back together again even though they they recently re- released a, a melancholy gypsies joint like last year or a year before but it's always good to hear those two together and then you have lily fangs on the last track the wound lily fang or lily fangs who i wasn't familiar with mm. but her singing is great on that and also my guy staple mouth fucking who is an incredible styler and the oh, way yeah. that him and that that's my favorite track of the album just to get to that we'll speak on that a little bit more but uh the features really add something to this but i think one of the things that make this listen um a bit incredible is the production yes the production on this album is a little bit strange like alo is extremely diverse and it sounds like you know a lot of these songs uh, i didn't do like a head count but there's a lot of different sounding guitars and bass lines on there that make me think that he's playing those and not just sourcing samples from that yeah and um there's a bit of a you know the album's called halo boy but there is a kind of a bit of an airy kind of etheric aspect giving the album a a a little bit of a cohesive feel Mm. but i feel like these beats were made for this project in mind and not something where alloy was like here's 50 beats like pick 10 you know pick pick whatever and we'll do it like that they're pretty unconventional and i don't know what to really compare them to in the wider canon of like hip-hop production he has a uh, a fairly distinct approach and kind of vibe that he created on this album that fill both like high level musicality yes but also abstract in 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 the tradition of just being like fucking avant-garde and left and pushing things but also just like the hip hoppy hip hop joints or oh, like, yeah. damn that shit that shit with mad squabbles and, and mickey fax is like really just like okay here here's some like hashtag real hip-hop like yeah you know a bit more boom bap there, like a bit more yeah yeah there's there's a bit of something for everybody on this album uh and i mean that in, in terms of like your production interests or the type of rhymes you like like maybe mm. you like that slower like coke flow well boldy james is on this maybe you like some uh, intricate crafted um you know rap bars you got mickey fax mad squabbles and then eli is able to meet them on these different grounds all the time that's that folky sing-song joint with chesky great the double time back and forth that stable mouth is doing on that shit with with um lily fangs to me that just screams of proletariat that that screams like the type of vibe that um even chesky was doing you know 20 years ago but they make it they make it really really like a, an interesting listen to almost every single uh like part of it like the the density of the verses the the things that are saying it's not just rapping to rap most of the time mm. there's there's you know it, it, it's it's really 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 good it, it, in my estimation i don't know what were your thoughts on the production because i know that you're um uh, you're you're uh, much more knowledgeable than i am when it comes to um musicality chord progressions and and things that are happening there what did you think about the kind of guitar centric um production on this yeah i I mean i 
I didn't think, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't like completely escape convention. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, obviously there there is a lot of avant-garde stuff going on, but I do think it works really well within the context of the rhyming over the top, um, especially the rapping, like the, the sing-songy stuff, um, you know, is personally just not really my lane, but it's the texture wise it's, it's yeah. amazing like it sounds really really good and you know spade would would point out as well like it's very clean clean it's production very fucking like it sounds great fresh, like it sounds so up good. loud yeah. yeah it's 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 really well um mastered and put together which are shout out to our man l spade like that's one of his biggest gripes about um kind of independent underground weird shit he doesn't come from the same kind of tradition and if some shit is not mastered well he's like what the fuck you're serving me uh, you know, uh, a, a, a gourmet meal on a trash can lid is what he likes yep. to say, right? But this album, super clean, super. It sounds, it sounds. I mean, it is professional level. I suppose of course, you yeah. can never tell when it's independent. Sometimes it's intentionally dusty, but yeah, this is is really great. Um, I did, I did like the production. Can, should I go ahead and get into you some of the get tracks some, that some I like? Tracks some of the bars. Yeah, I, I um, one of the first tracks. You know, obviously, uh, I'm a huge mark for micah nine I, I i've loved fellowship and and he's another one of those people in the kind of hip-hop underground community that i feel deserves more flowers and the way he styles on this is just great him the song is called the cafe and they both kind of are just going off and yeah. and it's uh it, it's fun to hear their styles contrast i'm not sure i've ever heard them together on a track before but it's it's been a long time coming and it was worth the wait starlight ego with mm. king los like this is a really good song and King Los is great, but I love the beat change up. Yes. Right. And the second verse from Eli on that is one of my favorites on the album. Mm. He's kind of, it's him coming to terms with like pain and ego and how he's going to overcome it. It's a really simple premise, um, but it's just really beautifully executed, uh, executed over the beat. Um, I've got some lyrics here, right? And it's a bit long, but. He says, I can see you in the glass every time I brush my teeth. I force a bullet right between your irises with grief because I mourn the fact that you were there when I was weak. I needed someone to stand up for me as I would bleed. I skin my knees and feel the bumpy patterns of the scab. I peel it back and feel the blood run down my calf. To heal, I had to hurry up and leave you in the past. That broken little boy inside, I had to shed that cast. And then it goes on. He says, because you're eat." Because ego, you're the reason for the treason and the storming. Lightning strikes one time and kills me in the morning. And then I live again with awareness of my sonnet. And it was interesting to me because it's almost like a, uh, it almost sounds like a spoken word piece or like yes. an actual poem rather than um, what people might perceive as like a, you know, an, an A, A, B, B song style, like yep. a bar style. And he calls it a sonnet. And it really kind of does work like one. It's not iambic pentameter you know what, no. what is i what, a a b b c c c a d so you know yeah, it, yeah. yeah the, the iambic pentameter but like when it comes to a sonnet the idea is like usually after eight of the bars it it resolves it it turns and it resolves the issue and that's exactly what he does on this he he talks about like this position of pain and how he overcomes it and how he has to keep his ego in check and i think that that like really highlights the intention and the type of artistry that Eli is, you know, settled into in his long career. It's not like the most uh, fascinating hip hop track in terms of how dense it is, but no, it's but the, extremely well constructed. Yes. And it's, I think something that runs across the entire record is just the level of refinement. You yeah. can see, you know, it's, yeah, no, it's an album born from, a lot of experience and, and and wisdom you know and being part of so many kind of um different elements of of the underground hip-hop yeah. movement be that you know living legends or, or like his solo work or his stuff with grouch like there's always yeah. like you see all of that experience coming through on this record and i think alloate was like a really great pick yeah. um you know in terms of yeah, they work well together, they work together bro, I, work it, well. it kind of um this this kind of make this is how I wish uh, like the Aesop Rock and Blockhead joint 
okay. could have sounded. Garbology. You know, Garbology, right? Okay. Which is not an album I care for. Um, but obviously, in, you know, in that case, you, you also have get dragged. Yeah, I got dragged <laughs> in the comments. But you, you know, you yeah, got those yeah. those you very yeah. like experienced, extremely capable, you know, legendary mm. artists um, coming together and you know applying that experience mm. in such a you know with so much finesse and grace. Um, you know, every single element of this record seems so well considered and put together. It, it's a very personal album, and he's able to kind of skirt that line of being personal and uplifting without being like uh, self helpy. Yes. You know, like that can it doesn't get a bit come tired. across as, as preachy yeah. or anything. Yeah. Um, again, first track hook aside, like, I think there's there's a lot of gems here. Yeah, we're. Um, and, and even when, like, you can't. You know, because sometimes they're, they're flying through this at, you know, double time. Yeah. And you can't really make out what's being said, even though, you know, obviously his, his enunciation is excellent. It's very easy. You to, have to, to focus. But you've got to focus to actually pay attention. Yeah. His voice and almost then, becomes like instrument. And you're getting hit it, by yeah. so much sonically that, it you know, you have to go back and actually actively, like, kind of True make that. mental notes of what is being said. Yeah. But even then, it just sounds so good. Yeah, yeah. You're like, whoa, he's like, really even when it's, off on it. it's like that Mike and Nine track, it's like yep. voice as instrument. Like, even if you can't pick out all the lines, it's like, damn, these fools are like flowing. They're, they're, mm. they're just dope. Um, the song Keyhole, it really reminds me of like AC Alone, Book of Human Language era. Mm. I love that. Dr. Manhattan with Mickey Fax. Like I said earlier, it's, it's one of the more, but yeah, but it's like just a dope kind of jazzy beat for those fiction. The, the beat features. on that track yeah. is incredible. Yeah. I love that beat. Um, we orbit. It's kind of gotten like this surf guitar type of sound to yeah. it a bit. I did it too. Bit, I, I, I didn't I like the chorus. Uh, no, I mean, it was fine. Okay. I, I think I found We Orbit a bit more interesting in the sense that, you know, it begins with like, they orbit us. And I was like, oh, here we go. He's going to like flex. Okay. And then it flips around, you know, it's like subversive. But at the same time, like you see that kind of equilibrium yeah, yeah, yeah. of like, you know, we're, we're born from like, the experiences we have with the people around us and the people around us are informed by who we are. Mm, and, you know, the, 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 the philosophical, philosophical uh, elements of that track come together really well. Word. Um, I think there's always a temptation to just kind of be like, we have orbiters. Yeah, right. And right. not examine the way yeah. that we orbit others. Yeah. Um, That's a good point. I kind of, I mean, this, like, I got that, but I didn't really drive the thought home it, yeah head. i don't know I, th that track came together well for me it's probably my least favorite track of the second half of the album okay um partly i think just because i was enjoying the features so much um and that's one without and that's one, one without. without yeah um and the hook like sonically i, I wasn't crazy about it but I, I thought it was fine uh yeah origami oh yeah origami man um Another one of my favorite verses on this album comes from from Scarab, yep. and I, I've loved Scarab. You know, Scarab is a man. I've loved Scarab since I was first getting fucking tapes mm. of Scarab back in in high school, like nineteen ninety nine and shit. And he's always been really dope. But this is just like a like I was like, you know what? I hadn't thought like to listen to Scarab too much over the last several years, but right. he's fucking ill on the first verse that he has on this is just dope the way he's constructing rhymes man it's crazy reading between the lines of good and heathen heathen unseen sciences see me weaving i believe there's more than logic and reason and he plays oh man he's it's a, it's a dope verse and uh of course i actually don't know if i've heard chesky um on a track with Eli before either, but it seems like a long time coming. I've been I've been rocking with Chesky for a long time. I, I have to say that I'm not I don't have to say it, but I haven't necessarily loved his kind of more folky mm. hip hop approach that he's done over the last I want to say like 10 years, he's still incredibly dope and good at it. And this is just a good showing. Like the combination of these three make for a really solid track. And this is probably like it's, it, this one sounds kind of more like uh, what, what would be the single for the album. Yes, you know what I yes. mean? And I think there's a music video for it as well. But it's it's a really good track. I fucking love Scarab, Origami. My personal favorite is the last track on the album. Weird. And you know why? Because I'm such a mark for Stable Mouth. I really think that he's one of the more unique stylers um, in hip-hop history. Like a, a, a true, uncanny, strange approach. I think that he's so 
poetically brilliant with mm. that singular style that man between this verse and his verse on the the noah 23 tank girl album yeah my man is fucking coming back like for a while he was like i didn't see him you know i would I, I might see him on a track with like some hawaii cats here and there but he's had some pretty like strong features recently i feel like that's been true for a lot of underground cats who haven't really been dropping anything you know still rift formerly rift napalm word, has word. been appearing on a ton of stuff um, I yeah, think yeah. Cavaliers got a new album. Cavaliers coming out. got some stuff. Big yeah. Just has been on a bunch of stuff, Hell and yeah. some stuff coming soon that uh, we're very we excited got, about. We've got an album for you guys. We've got it early. We have it. We have it. Um, big, big Just and Fat Boy. Hey, 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 hey. I think we're allowed to say. <laughs> I don't know. That. If we're allowed yeah. to say. I think yeah, they yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Um, don't I'm think sure about it. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, um, it's coming though. It's f- yes. <sighs> but so, yeah, yeah. It's been it's been a good year for like some of these underground cats that have been around for twenty plus years who have been quiet recently sketch 185 yeah. put out an excellent album earlier this true year true that true that yeah. it's been Man, it's been good it, it's it's so good and so many parts of this album are just like exactly what you would want from eli even if you're not familiar with him i think this is a a, a tremendous a phenomenal introduction he's able to kind of highlight what separates him from his contemporaries he has like some really good messages great insight the ref- level of refinement between him and Allo 8 both of them are you know long time what i consider like ogs legends in the community but this is this is just a, a good one and and i won't spend a lot of time uh, anymore like highlighting why i like staple mouth but i i think i said it before it's like he's his poetry is incredible. Mm. And if you can make out the words, the, the poetry is incredible. Some of the things that he says and the way he does it with his style. What is it like the second verse of his where it's like a, like maybe like four, like maybe like six bars from from Eli and then like six from Staple Mouth. This the, beat's got me feeling something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on <laughs> it too. Lost I'm feeling kind of like, boop, 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 we boop, 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 boop. yeah, but the way that he just bounces oh i didn't mean to change i didn't change it it changed by itself shout out to ellingsworth friend of the show um a- anyways uh yeah the way that he bounces like his i don't know what you would call it like his cadence like just man he, he he's fucking dope check out this album check out this album man i would recommend this album to people who yeah were favorite, into songs, the, favorite, favorite songs favorite songs favorite songs favorite songs first. uh i'm gonna go with starlight ego featuring king los Dr. Manhattan and fuck it Blood Moon okay with, with Baldy James because you know what? I'm just I'm just so grateful every time I hear Baldy James on something since his car accident knowing Word. he's just Word. back and he's just back at it again like it just brings a smile to my face I'm glad we still have Baldy James I-, I got a question on that song does he say fucking some does he call out Big Crit like he's he says does it it sounds like he says Big Crit let's get it and I was wondering, was like, is Crit supposed to be on this? Let me let me pull that. Let, yeah, let pull me up, see. Because I, I feel sure. like I feel like I heard that, and I meant to ask you about it, but I didn't. Um, hold on, let me pull that up. Hold on. All right. Blacks. Doctor Xavier, I've read your report. Yes, but when you understand it, have you any idea what I'm trying to accomplish? Secret House. Well, Secret yes. House. My wrist cost a big bird after you add the bezel. Move the bag in the birds, we didn't start half together. Yeah. I thought it was. Maybe I'm tripping. Mafia. Black wax. Big crit, just get it. Oh. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Big crit, just get what I don't I don't know. Anyways. I thought I heard that, and I was like, okay, okay. Like, maybe he was supposed to be on a track, too, but didn't make, you know, like, verse didn't make the cut, didn't get in time or some shit like that, but, yeah, um, yeah. So, my favorites, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely The Wound. I love The Wound. Um, Dr. Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Uh, we Orbit. Starlight Ego. Mm. In the Cafe. And yeah. origami. I like a lot of these songs. Yeah, oh, like I, said, yeah. I mean, pretty much everything yeah. except for the title track. I was yeah. a big fan of. So, yo, Lily Fangs. There was a moment when she first starts coming in, and the in like the song opens up, and I was like, oh, this kind of reminds me of like a Stereo Lab mm-hmm. a, a little bit. You know, just kind of like yeah, beautiful, of the beautiful, yeah, but yeah. like kind of cold. Yeah, sort of vocal inflection yeah. that comes in. And like, all right. 
the guitar like the beat change ups and like like this song is mostly driven the melody is like the guitar right yeah hold on let me see oh here we go let me, let me pull it back to Oh, let me pull it back just a little bit. We can, we can listen. We can do that in Secret House, right? We can just talk. Yeah. Yeah. She got bars, too. Mm. And a good singing voice. Like, she fucking pulls it off. There's some sing-song styling on this fucking shit. I'll take an album from all three of these people. For yeah, sure. give me, give me a fucking, you know, give me an EP, give me twenty minutes of this, give me, give me sixteen, give me, give me five tracks. Yeah, the combination of them I think is really, really dope, and they all three really work well together. Like, who is producing like this? Like, what is it? Yeah. Remember the skin that tore into the wind. So poetic. Yeah. Beautiful. Who's, Beautiful. Who's producing like this? Like, I don't know where I've heard this kind of. It kind of like there's you know, almost like a Midwest emo thing going on there, bit, with yeah. like the kind of kind of muted guitars, yeah. with the with the live drumming. Word, word. Yeah, I um, I I uh, I, I would rec- recommend this album to people that love. AC Alone's Book of Human Language. I would recommend this album to to people who um, to the old heads. Cats were listening to cats were listening to like Log Cabin Project. Cat, fans of you know early Eli, you know um, as they pass. Yeah. Uh, if you like this, I recommend checking out the Feek and Lungs slash Lone Sword. Album okay. we reviewed that's earlier this pull. year, the the Another Planet yeah, Four. Yeah, that's a good um, pull. That's another record where it's just like some of the double time rapping on there is just totally insane. Yeah, and it is over production that you wouldn't necessarily expect it to be, and uh, it works to wonderful effect. True that. True that. Um, Secret House against Steve please. Harvey against. <laughs> Secret House Against Breakbeats. Figure it out. Um, here goes all of our, our, our patrons, man. We love and appreciate you guys. Uh, you, you people, you equals. Uh, yeah, we've got a, a few new patrons uh, recently. Cool. Yeah, the, the list is filling out. You know, a couple $5 ones, a couple $1 ones. I, I don't know. I was thinking about maybe... I hate to do like a tier system, but my friend, uh, my, my, my brother, Knee Block, shout out, um, he's also a patron now. He was like, yeah, you guys should, you know, create another tier or something like that. But I, I just, I don't, I don't know, uh, like what additional content we would want to offer. Or like, do we put up the videos on a patron early for people? Because usually I, we record and I get them up like pretty quickly do we have anyone giving over 10 at the moment no name is giving over 10 no name yeah and we already spent like an hour telling no name she was incredible so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know there's only so much i, I can, can do. do yeah like we, we the posters here no name book club yeah. check it out we love you yeah. I, d- I don't i don't know like if you guys have any ideas um come to japan of type of content you I, i've been thinking about doing more solo videos just because i want to get content out and, and i know it's difficult to get jet out here all the time because we both work in you know full-time jobs or whatever and uh it's yeah train money and all that type of stuff but maybe i'll start doing like uh, i don't know we'll figure it out right but yeah shout out to you guys Peace.